Okay, so one more uh, practice video where we keep talking about molarity. So again, um, you might not know it's a molarity problem right away because this is new to us in Chapter 4, but when you see this capital M, it's a good indication that we're about to solve a molarity problem. As soon as I see molarity, I like to get my mind thinking about my formula. So we could either recall that the formula is equal to this and we could start doing some algebra if necessary. Or you can use the triangle to help you navigate that math. So this question asks, what volume in milliliters of 3.0 molar KCL solution contains 0.4 moles of KCL? Okay, so again, there are three parts to this equation, and I'm going to tell you two of them, right? And I'm going to ask you for an unknown. So I've clearly told you the molarity, right? So we've got this guy. He's given. I also show you how many moles of KCL there are. So there's my moles of solute. I ask you about the volume. So here's my unknown now. The thing that I'm solving for is my volume. However, if I use this triangle or even this formula to solve for it, I will get my answer out in liters because that's the definition of this uh, formula for molarity. This question asks for milliliters. So I just have to make sure that I understand that when I solve a molarity equation, my volume will always come out in liters. And if anything else is asked for, then I have to convert. Right? So we'll make sure we take care of that conversion at the end. For now, I can see that liters, if I imagine that we cover that up, Liters will be equal to the moles divided by the molarity, right? So that's what happens if I block out this liters. I see it's moles divided by molarity. Now, I see that I already have my moles and I already have my molarity. So I get to just plug in and do my math because I've rearranged my formula already and everything's ready to go. So my volume in liters will be equal to 0 0.40 moles of solute divided by 3 capital M for molarity KCL. My units don't cancel here, right? But I'll come back to that and talk about it at the end of the video to show you where that cancellation takes place. So if I do that math, I'm going to do 0.4 divided by 3 and I get 0 0.133 with a repeating 3 and that is going to be in liters. So now I just have to make sure that I meet the requirements of the question. So they've asked me to find milliliters, and I will. So I'm going to take what I know, 0 0.133 liters. Looks like I only, by the way, need two sig figs. So I'll have to truncate that in the next step. But for now, I'll convert it. One liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. And so that will give me 133 milliliters. If I only want to have two sig figs, I have to reduce this number to only two significant figures, and so I will call it 130 milliliters. So we have to pour out 130 milliliters of this solution in order to get 0 0.40 moles of KCL, right? So not a hard problem, but you have to know when to use the formula, you have to know how to manipulate it, and then you need to make sure that all your units are, are uh, corrected for. All right, so there's another molarity question. I'll put up one more video, one more kind of example problem, and then when you come into class on Tuesday, we'll be ready to go, and we'll start dealing with molarity in the context of limiting reactant problems. It's going to be great. Get excited.